Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm down here on South Patea Road, known as Paddy uh, Adai. And I'm gonna walk up to Sugarbit Road. The reason I wanna go up this way is quite a lot has changed over here, so indications of what's going on. There's a massive, massive uh, new development. I've got no idea what it is. I can't see no billboards, uh, but that's coming up in the very near future. So I'll show you that. It's huge, humongous, I don't know what it's gonna be. So right now I'm down here on the third road, on the junction of third road and Paddy Adai. If you carry on where the ambulance is going down there, straight down, that'll take you down to Beach Road, second road. And if you turn left here, that'll take you up to Naklua. So you go that way, it'll take you to Naklua. Turn that way, it will take you up to Soy Chaipun, where the buzzing down is. And across the road there, if you want to get yourself busy, you've got to work out, go there in Tony Fitness Group. So, let's head up here. And uh, across the road there, there's Magna Carta Law Firm. Been here a long, long time, very well established. Have an extremely good reputation for legal services. So uh, if you are in need of some advice, and you want to speak to somebody that's in the know that can help you get yourself in Magna Carta. And if you turn right just there, if you go turn right there, uh, just up there on the right hand side, is a, a gents club called Whisper Lounge. Truthfully, I don't know how well they're doing at the moment. It's a new owner. Uh, Greg, the old owner, he's moved on. Uh, it is a little bit tucked out of the way, sadly. It's just up there on the right hand side. Um, but I don't know, I will, I will get my head up there and go and see what's going on. And, uh, see where we are with things. I love it when the old, uh, the, the elderly type people are psychopaths walk, when I'm walking with my camera. You look at his face there, it's total bemusement. It's like, what's that guy doing? What's he holding in his hand? But just here, if you come here in the evening, get here around about nine, 10 o'clock, see all these? Great food, but right here, this stall here, they do mudang. Uh, mudang is lovely. It's a uh, uh, slice. Sorry, there's a little penis in. Um, it's a sliced pork dish uh, that's got a red, red uh, outer, red texture, and it's a soup, a noodle soup. Oh, god damn, it's nice. But up here, a lot's changing. Across the road, there you got the nine, uh, predominantly a Thai-based nightclub, and there's a lot of those up here. So if you are finding yourself that so you've been out and about, found yourself a, a new friend for the year, for the night. Uh, they may well want to come up here, it's highly likely. And it's a good area, don't be frightened, don't be worried about going to Thai clubs. There really is no issue. Uh, up here, prices now. Where are we? Uh, Nam, uh, 49.59 for 95, 38.59 for 91, 49.59, god damn, that's gone up. And that leads me into what I say about the Bart bus. And I know I mentioned it a couple of times. But you know, you jump on a bar bus, 10 bar. Well, if his fuel's gone up in the last few years, 10 bar per litre, well, there's his 10 bar gone. And he's got nothing. So, I don't know. I don't know. Answers on the postcard, please. Should the, uh, the bar bus be 20 bar? I think it should. And these stores, if you are coming out here to live, or you're long, long term, you get your fans in here, give them chairs, bed insects, all that kind of stuff. It's amazing what they stop in there, it really does. I love it, I love walking around it sometimes when my wife comes down, she wants to get whatever it is she needs. I walk around and think, oh look at this. And the price is comparable to the UK. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the UK the prices here for furniture are like a third of the price of what you pay back in the UK. Having said that, I've been in the UK for a long time, so maybe prices have dropped. And just here on the left hand side, now this place is really busy and they stay on till the early hours. You, you'll often find people in there. As you can see, they're at the far distance. So now it's nine o'clock in the morning and they're still in there partying, just finishing off their mumble drive. And remember, they live a, a nocturnal life. Is that the word when they work in the day, sleep in the day and work at night? Nocturnal. But they're in, the, they're in the bars and the clubs here. So when they finish at like four in the morning, then they come out and then it's their evening. So they're here till the early hours. But like I say, there's a lot of new developments here. So Midnight Dessert and Cafe over there, that's new. And it often makes me think, how do they make a living? How do they survive? Paying their electric, their rent, water, staff. You know, would you travel all the way over here just to have an ice cream? And I wish these people all the best in the world, I really do. You know, I'm not uh, condemning them, but uh, to come out here just for dessert and stuff like that. And here, this has been developed now over the last uh, 
probably three months I think now, maybe a little bit more. And right at the very end, you'll see in a second, there's actually signs of occupation. There are people coming in there, ready to occupy these units and open them up. I guess if they're, if they're open up, hopefully, the residents up there will be hoping that the businesses here aren't going to be loud music, otherwise they might have uh, sleep issues. But you see, just here, these, uh, these units are on the, well on the way to uh, being finished, ready for opening. Again, food and drink, that's the theme right now. See there, look, Dom Yam. Pintu Hub Food and Drink, uh, Yum Tum Zap. And here, bar and restaurant. Yeah, look. And there's a lot, there's a lot of this theme over this side. The aim here is predominantly food restaurants. And again, sort of more leaning towards the Thai residents rather than the, the tourists. But if you do get the chance, and I really genuinely mean it, if you do get the chance, guys, go and explore these fun places. See again there, over there, look. And all this myth, you know, I hear people say, oh no, you can't go into Thai clubs, you're not welcome. Absolute rubbish, absolute rubbish. If you, if you go to a Thai club, yes, you will know, noticeably get people looking at you because they're trying to figure out, oh, I wonder why he's here, who are you with? But there's no malice intent. They're just generally just interested that you're in a Thai club. And here's our 7-Elevens. We actually have, and you'll see it when I get up there, we've got what I thought was the biggest 7-Eleven in Thailand. I'm told it's the biggest 7-Eleven in the world. Never knew that. I'm over there, Apot Chabu. I've been there a few times. Very nice food. Very, very nice. And here, look up there. The old speed cameras don't say you haven't been warned. The question I was asked the other day is what happens if you get a speeding ticket? And it's a good question because if you've rented the car and then you've returned back home, the ticket, generally speaking, will sit with the uh, car renter. If you're living here, they'll send you a ticket. What you do with it, in all honesty, is up to you. I'm not going to say what uh, most people do, but let's just say it's up to you. See again there, look, more new developments. And this is, this is the thing, is right now, right now, for whatever reason, this soy seems to be under serious developments. And when you see the one up ahead, my Lord, it's huge. So we're gonna have a bit of a game today. When I show it to you, guess what it is? I spoke to Martin at Cornerstone, which is where I'm walking up to now. We're gonna see him and bring a, a wow factor video for Wow Factor Properties. So watch this space. Uh, but when I was speaking to Martin, he said to me, it's not going to be a condo. And I said, well, how do you know that? And he said, because if it's a condo, they will always put signs out at the front the beginning to say, oh, coming soon is this development. So people that want to invest off plan, uh, by meaning on off plan means that they get the best rate. So I'll just explain that to you. When a developer has secured the uh, the area, the land, and wants to do his development, they offer what we call off-plan purchases. And generally speaking, what you do is you pay a deposit, and then you'll pay uh, monthly payments up until, normally it's, it's quite near completion date, meaning that in a way you're kind of funding their development. And then when the development's ready to be built and finalised, then uh, you pay your final payment. And if you get it right, and that is the word, if. If you get it right, there's a chance that you can make some money. So if you're sitting on some money at home and you think, so well, I wonder what I can do with it to try and make a bit more money back, then you can consider these projects. However, 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 for as many successes as there are, very sadly, there are also many casualties, meaning that sometimes the development falls foul. You know, you've only got to look at the waterfront as an example. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe it doesn't get completed. They run into financial difficulties themselves as a developer. All these kind of things that can come up. So if you are considering investing in an off-plan building, 
then uh, please do your homework on the developer. See what success rate they've got on previous developments. Make sure they've done their completions. But yeah, you can make money. When I very first came to Thailand, I invested in the Centara Grand Avenue. Uh, my friend and I, Nick and myself, we invested. We didn't lose money, but it was bloody close. We got our money back, but we didn't lose money. And over there, there you go, that is what I am told is the biggest 7-Eleven in the world. Two floors, outside seating area, restaurant upstairs. And when you're now talking about food, up here, there are loads of restaurants. My wife and I, we often come up to, I'll show you when we get up there in a bit. We often come up to these, and these are called what we call mukta. And uh, mukta is, it's that dish that um, aluminium sort of like wheel hub, I suppose, best way to describe it, where you cook your food yourself. And it's a great concept, I love it. Over there is Rave, another Thai nightclub over there. And uh, up here is the restaurants that I'm referring to. But in the far distance, we're nearly there now, not far. Uh, but in the distance there, you'll see that uh, orange colored building. We'll go up there, I'll show you that. The development in there, I've got no idea what it's going to be, but my lord, it's huge. And again, over there, another, another Thai nightclub. And have an evening, these are busy. These are really, really busy. And just up here on the left, is my, me and my wife's go-to Mugatart restaurant. <coughs> and you know, when you come here and eat these uh, Mugatarts, they're so cheap. You get a full-on, full-on session, all your food and everything, and you're talking hardly, hardly much at all. And you can see here, look, look, see how busy it is in there, look, they're partying away, they're having their fun and they're really enjoying themselves. Right now, nine o'clock in the morning, and of course, you know, they're, for them it's their evening now. They're all partying hard and enjoying themselves. And over there, Patya. Patya nightclub. But this one in here, this is where I go, sorry. Must be line of thought, in there. Really nice food. Cheap as white. So you, you walk out there, two of you, including your drinks, you'll have change out of a thousand baht. And there's another one over there. See what I mean, how many, how many there are? And of course, if you look at a long-term residency, the grass condominium and it's a good location you know, you're far enough out of the city to not be pestered but you're close enough to just jump on a bolt taxi and then you go but look at this bad boy over here and i said to martin you see up there above it see the sign I said is that the condom condominium and he said no they're just utilizing that space at the moment so i'll poke me in the corner and insurance. You may have seen the video I did a while back with Jack here at McKellen Insurance. So if you're needing any uh, insurance of any description, home concrete, fire, general accident, health insurance, motor insurance, all that kind of stuff, medical and health, pop in there, go and see Jack and his team. He's been here a long, long time. Very, very well established. Highly recommended. So, let me cross the road and I'll show you what I want to show you. Uh, I feel like, what's that game when, uh, is it Frog Hopper? When you got to leg it across? It's Frog Hopper. It's, uh... Oh, how kind is that girl? Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Now look at this in here. What is this going to be? This is ginormous, look at this. Oh my good lord. Wow. What is that going to be? That is massive. It is just huge. And obviously look, they're doing the piling over there. I don't know what that's going to be. So uh, have a guess guys, what do you think? Huge, huge area. What do you think? Let's go say thank you to this person. Cop and cab, buddy cab, cop and mark, cop and mark. See, if you were in London, bear in mind that had me crossing the road had nothing to do with that guy. If you were in London, you'd have been left there. The guy wouldn't have even given you a thought of the day. Whereas out here, you see I'm trying to cross the road. 
pops himself up, jumps out in the road, waves his leg, and uh, allows me through. What a lovely person. And you might be thinking to yourself, Trev, mate, have a word with yourself. What are you going on about? You're just, you're talking about something like that. But for me, it's a thought, it's a gesture. And that's what I mean about Thai people. Very, very kind. And this area here, another big area. Again, with that sound like, sound like an old record. Uh, very aimed at Thai people. But like I've said time and time again, and I'll keep saying it, is please, 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 don't think for a second you're not welcome, you are. All right, what's going on up here? Not sure what's happening here. No, oh, please don't say there's an accident. Let's see look, what's going on. Uh, no, no accident. Okay, well that's good, no one's been hurt. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Tony Cap? Always worries me when you see a group of people like that. Well, they were traffic officers, but you think, oh God, please don't be an accident. Right, so. Uh, I'm nearly up at Martins now, at Cornerstone. But what I want to just say is, and I can't show you because I need to go this way. Right up there in the very far corner, you see a big white building. Again, another brand new complex, brand new development. And just before it, there's another new build. So there's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. But what I'll do is I'm going to quickly walk up here. I want to show you some places that would be of interest to you just around here. We'll finish off at Martins at Cornerstone. And then I'm going to go off with Martin and make another video, which will be out soon. And that's going to be the Wow Factor properties. Some of these properties you can buy out here are just off the radar. Wow. I've got no idea what ones I'm going to go and see, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. There's another vast land here over the back of this. Again, not sure what they're doing with it, but my, my thoughts are is if, they've, if they're acting on that building site I just showed you, Maybe this will be next on the radar. Right now, uh, nighttime videos for me are pretty difficult, to be honest. I just literally don't have the time. I'm in a catch-22. I go out to make a nighttime video. People that come into the lounge bar say, Trevor, came to the buzzing lounge. You weren't there, mate. And I'm like, I'm really sorry. I was out doing the video. And if I stay, uh, I like that. And if I stay in the uh, bar, I can't do the business. Look at it, I like that. Good things come to those who work for it. Well, whoever wrote that, fair play to you. Spot on. It's funny, actually, but how, how ironic is that? I had a guy say to me over there, yeah, but you're lucky, mate, you got your bar, you, you got YouTube. Well, I may be lucky if that's what you're gonna call it, but in fairness, I've done a video every single day for over three and a half years. So that's over a thousand days of me walking, doing this, to, uh, to reap the rewards where the people are coming in to the buzzing edge. And I thank you all. I thank you all for coming in, I really do. But I don't think it's luck. I think without sounding like a bell in, I've actually worked hard to try and do it. Uh, potato accounting there. So if you need any audits for your business, visas, you're gonna set up a business, again, hop in, go in and see them. Right across there, that's Big C. Big C's um, a massive shopping centre. They have outlets in there, outlet uh, booths. They have um, a massive food court, lots of uh, options in there. And of course, your day-to-day -day shopping. I love what, I love this. You know, I don't know, sometimes I get like a sentimental head on. I love seeing these people working hard, selling their food, going about their day-to-day -day work. I don't know. Maybe I'm just easily pleased. But I look at that and I think fair play to them. Especially when you consider that the amount of money they may make in a day, a couple of thousand baht, it ain't a lot, is it, to be honest. Let's not kid each other. But yeah, over there, big party bikes on the right hand side there. If you've got a car, get your car in there, go take it in and have a wander around. It's always worth having a look, see what they've, uh, see what they're doing. But right here, up in front, is Cornerstone. So uh, let me spin the camera around, and we'll wrap it up. All right, so there we are. That's today's video, guys. 
like I say, just want to update you what's going on in the city. Lots of changes, lots of things happening, and uh, all for the better. All for the better. So, fingers crossed, there is yet still more to come. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and that's it for today. <clears throat> um, as always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. If you are kindly supporting the channel, and I would, would like to say thank you so much for all your support, please would you change your PayPal address. Um, if you look at the description below, the new PayPal address is there. Please would you transfer across to that site. We will be shutting the other one down in due course. So uh, please would you do that, and thank you so much for all your support. It really is fantastic, it means a lot, and it allows me to go and do lots of different videos, which are coming soon. Have a look on our Instagram if you want to see about nighttime. Check out the Instagram. Uh, Instagram's got lots going on. It's all nightlife stuff. And likewise with TikTok, that's daytime activity and all about restaurants, bars, beaches, tourist attractions, stuff like that. And please jump in Discord. Have a look on Discord. Over 18,000 members now. It's completely free of charge. A wealth of information. So have a look on that one, guys. And uh, that's it for today. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you're in the world, stay safe.